Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker and welcome to A Healthcare Z. Today's topic is Medicare Administrative Contractors or MACs. So in a previous video I mentioned MACs as it related to Medicare denials, but as it turns out, Medicare does not even process their own claims. They contract it out. And who do they contract it out to? They contract it out to Max. So they process claims for Medicare Part A and B. In other words, fee-for-service Medicare, or what is referred to as traditional Medicare. So that's 70% of Medicare beneficiaries, right? With the remaining 30% being the Medicare Advantage folks, right? So we're not talking about that 30% Medicare Advantage. We're talking about the 70 cent Medicare fee-for-service traditional Medicare folks. Okay, next up, there are 12 max across America. They are given geographic territories. They process $367 billion worth of Medicare claims a year, which works out to 1.2 billion claims. So it's a lot of money and it's a lot of volume. Okay, now we're not going to go through all 12, but we're going to go through a couple of them. Okay, one of them is called Novitas. It's a big one. It is responsible for Texas, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, Colorado, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Arkansas, uh, Louisiana, and Alabama. Okay, you look into the, you go to this Novitas website, it is like straight out of like 1998. Like it is a, I'm sorry, it is a fairly antiquated website. It's kind of odd. It's, it's odd. Okay, next. Okay, so it's owned by Guidewell Source. Okay, it's got a parent company. It's parent company's Guidewell Source. That's kind of weird. Okay, Guidewell Source has a parent company. It's called Guidewell. It's headquartered in Jacksonville, Florida. What in the world is Guidewell? Who's ever heard of that? It's Florida Blue. It's the Blue Cross Blue Shield plan of Florida. So you've got Guidewell up here, and you've got Florida Blue here, and you've got Novitas here, right? So they're different subsidiaries. But essentially, you could think of it as like, okay, like the same company that owns Blue Cross Blue Shield does the claims processing for all these states for Medicare. Okay, oh, by the way, this holding company, Guidewell, they have $19 billion a year in revenue. Okay, they would be 165 on the Fortune 500 if they were a publicly traded company. They would be larger than Netflix. They would be larger than Kimberly Clark, the maker of Huggies diapers and Kleenex. Okay, so like there's a lot of money in Medicare claims processing. Okay, next up, Noridian. Okay, again, kind of this NO theme we got going on here. Again, it's a big one because they do Medicare claims processing for California and the, and the rest of the Western United States. That's right? so Oregon, Washington, Nevada, Utah, some other states. Okay, what in the world is that? It's Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Dakota. It's headquartered in Fargo. You mean, and it, look at this, they process 15% of all Medicare claims, right? So, Oh, by the way, I couldn't find their revenue. I could not find their revenue. But listen, if we know that Guidewell's doing 19 billion in revenue, then you know, little Meridian in Fargo, North Dakota, is probably doing a lot. Okay. Again, if you go to their website, the pictures of their board of directors, like two of them are not even in focus. And like none of them match. It's just, it's just odd. Okay, so what's my point? My point is, is that, you know, if we're talking about either expanding Medicare coverage or Medicare for all, then like these MACs are a big deal now and they're going to become an even bigger deal, right? They determine all of the denials by Medicare. They process all the claims. By the way, they do all the provider relations, like all the docs and hospitals. If they have any questions about Medicare, they don't call the government. They call these MACs. So, I would just say, listen, I need your help. If you could just kind of look into what Noridian's actual revenue was, that would be helpful. And like, whatever you could do to like help, like find more out about these maps and share that with me, that would be super helpful too, because there needs to be more transparency about them. And that's my point for today. Thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.